Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. We're going to clarify with this New Era Elements. Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. Woohoo! Okay. Is that where it's at, Scorpio? Is that where it's at? Is, is, are you guys, like, ready to burst or what? Whew. Whole lot of passion going on there, huh? Wow. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Whew. Wish fulfillment. Dream come true. Sent from heaven. Oh my goodness gracious. A gift from above. <laughs> A passionate one at that. Wow. What did you guys do anyway? Uh oh. It always gets better, doesn't it? Oh, the seven to the eight. From deception to mental turmoil. From lies to being trapped. What the hell is this? There's a passionate new beginning here. This is a blessing. Something is a blessing. Maybe you are blessed with a new passionate beginning for stepping outside of your comfort zone. That could certainly be the case. Maybe you were you've been in hiding for quite some time, hiding the hiding something, whatever, and perhaps somebody is. Well, let's get the rest of the cards. Oh yeah, lies are, have been exposed. Some there's been some sort of exposure here. Time out. Major new beginning, huh? Oh yeah, you guys have been overwhelmed for quite some time. Overwhelmed by. It looks like some sort of thoughts, obviously. You've been overwhelmed by hmm, torment almost. It's like you've been tormented. You feel like you've been tormented. Um, trapped, tied up, bound into a situation that you didn't really want to be bound into. Let me make sure this is focused. Oh, pretty good, huh? So... It looks like it's 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 like this is a time for me to step back and become aware of, become aware. I think that you guys have probably It looks like there's been some sort of exposure that may have forced you out of hiding. I'm not sure. Hiding your truth, okay? Because this is these are truths. Hiding your thoughts, hiding your feelings. There's been some sort of revelation that has come out that has probably brought you to a space of alone time. <laughs> you know, I'm alone. I need to be alone. Maybe that's where you're at. You're, I just need to be alone. So you go into your period of alone. You have no plan, okay? It's like I have no plan at this time. Okay, I have no plan. Right now, I'm just trying to release this heavy weight that I have been carrying right now, okay? Right now, it's, I'm working on uh, lightening this load that I've been carrying for way too long, okay? So, I think that that right now, you are in, uh, in the midst of a, of a major new beginning because you've just completed one lesson in your life because the, car, the world card is a lesson has been learned. I think that you had probably stubbornly held on to this lesson for quite some time. But I think the, the mask has probably been ripped off. And now it's time for you to receive your reward for learning that lesson. Because the, the star card is like a blessing. It really is. It's like a renewal. It's a healing. It's where you, I mean, peace of mind alone is a reward. Okay, so this is peace of mind. So, I, you know, I think that you guys probably 
do have a new beginning here because some of you have taken a time out. You know, you've taken a time out. Maybe you've, maybe you've, uh, well, let's get a clarifier. Either something has happened. There's been some sort of change. That's the nine of wands. You've given up on something. You've given up on a situation. It's like you're not trying. It's, it's no longer about trying to control this situation. It's not. And I think that's what you realize. It's like, no, I, I, there's nothing more that I can do to make this change. You come to that realization. And I think some, there's some communication that comes out. And in the end, it's going to make it has or it is. It's making you rejuvenate. It's making you heal. It's making you um, happy. There's been some sort of, I almost think it's like freedom, okay? It's like personal freedom. And you're still working on it, okay? There's still some baggage there. It's like you can't, you can't release that baggage overnight, right? So I feel like you guys are working on healing for sure during this week. You're healing. You're healing from something that was recently closed I think there's a chapter that has recently been closed or is about to be closed and you're working on restoration per se you know um yeah it's like I just need to take my time I think that you you're you're probably you're probably feeling like you you may want to just be alone okay this some of, at least some of the time this month you're you're going through a period of introspection enlightenment awareness i mean spiritual awakening you're going through some some changes here that is forcing you to release some sort of burden okay you're or maybe you're not being forced to maybe you're doing it on your own you guys are releasing some sort of burden that was weighing you down heavily and it's making you feel alive again. You know what I mean? It's like you, there's like a revival here. Um, now, this is the Three of Cups reversed. There could have been a third party situation that, that caused things to fall apart. And that's the burden. Maybe you feel like you don't have anything to celebrate right now. You don't have anything to give. You know, right now I'm working on me. I don't really don't have anything to give, you know. So I think right now you guys are working on a period of healing. Some of you are. You're healing from something. You may not want, be wanting to even date, you know, if you're single or what. Some of you are, I know. So don't, I mean, this may not be for you. But this is like, uh, you may, you could turn down a date at this time. Put it that way. It's not like that you don't want to date the whole month. But somebody could turn down a date because, you know, I'm still working on me. That kind of thing. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's like, uh, I don't think the time is now. The time isn't right now. It's not, it's not meant for me to get in any kind of commitment right now. This is a Hierophant reverse, which is the commitment card. Okay, it is. It's not, I just don't have faith at this time. I don't have faith that I can even have a, a valid communication or relationship or anything with this somebody right now because I'm still going through my healing period. So somebody is, is healing over something for sure. And, and right now, you know, they're just, it seems like the time isn't now to move forward with anybody but myself. You know, I'm still going through some mental turmoil here. So I feel like you guys are... But you do have an, an offer with this Ace of Wands. That's a passion, I mean, Kate, okay? You do have desires, right? You do. And that's, that's the first card that came out. So this, this is like the... And this could be one of the reasons why there's been some sort of departure. Anyway, um, here... Yeah, there's desires that haven't been met with the Devil Reverse. There's, there's definitely some desires that haven't been met. And... I think that you may be, maybe you're on the hunt. Maybe you're on the hunt for, well, well, what is it? Hungry, hungry like the wolf. So that kind of thing. You may be, you know, on the hunt for something um, passionate, but it's like, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not put back together yet. You know what I mean? I'm not back. I'm not whole. I'm not whole as I need to be. So I feel like you're, 
you don't want to get into anything, you know, you don't want to come together with anybody more than, you know, it doesn't look like you really want to join t with anybody for more than um, passion, okay? You know, I think there's a, there's, there's passion here, but I'm not ready for anything big, you know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, it's like it's unrealistic. This is the seven, the seven of Pentacles reverse. It's unrealistic for me to get bound to anybody uh, romantically at this time because I'm still restoring control in my life. But there's desires, so there's an opportunity for a passionate. Um, You know, it could be a fling or it could lead to something, but I don't see anything stable here yet. I don't, but it could be a passionate kind of fling or whatever. But um, this is the Ten of Wands reversed. Now, look at this. These are the same card. One is reversed, one is upright. Somebody is making conscious changes in their life, trying to figure out a way to real freedom. How am I I'm freeing themselves? There's really this guy, this, this, it. Think I'm getting out this 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 tiger whatever it is jaguar whatever that thing is right there I don't really know but it's a bobcat of some sort anyway um, is thinking of a way to get out and this is restoring control taking back my power taking back my power right now that's what's going on so it's not the right time for you to get into a commitment that's what it looks like but I do have desires. And a lot of knowledge on how to go about that. So, this is the Six of Swords. This is about moving forward. So, I think what's happening right now is you guys are relighting that fire within you. You're relighting that spark that has been put out by being trapped in one situation. Okay, you're relighting that fire. You're, you may have a new interest, okay, a new interest, but you're probably not ready for a commitment. And it feels like, you know, you lack faith and commitment at this time. That's what this is. And the thing is, is right now you're going through a period of enlightenment. You're going through a period of awakening. You're going through a period of change. So, it, yes, change, okay? Can you see that card? Change, I just said. And then it comes out. You're going through a period of change. And when you're going through this period of change, you've got to you got to allow it to happen in its own time to get to the best outcome. And I think that you know that. I see a lot of wisdom here. I do. You guys have a lot of wisdom. So I feel like this is a month of introspection, healing, relighting that fire within you, um, sparking, you know, setting off of whatever sparks within you, you know. I think that you are just relighting. You're like rising from the ashes. Son of a bitch. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're rising from the ashes. Like that phoenix. Rebirth. Rebirth. Scorpio. The chills are now here. So that's exactly what this is. So as far as new love. <laughs> well, there could be some, some uh, sex. And you never know. But um, I don't really see anything long term just so you know you're still completing a phase you're rising again give it time right that's exactly what that is too ascending the mountain keep going The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you are going three steps and falling back too, you are still getting close to your goal. 
Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all of your hard effort. It's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer for others. <laughs> There it is.